A very important part of psychology is diagnosing patients under two categories, abnormal and normal. In 1972, a doctor named David Rosenhan created an experiment named the Rosenhan Experiment. In this experiment, he questioned whether the characteristics that led a psychologist to diagnose a patient as normal or abnormal resides in the patient or the situation or context the psychologist sees them in. Rosenhan reasoned that if he sent normal people to a psychiatric hospital and told them to act normal, and the doctors did not recognize that they were in fact sane, then the diagnosis of mental illness is tied more to the situation than to the patient. To test this, Rosenhan recruited eight participants, including himself, to act as the normal people in the psychiatric hospitals. He named them the pseudo-patients. The eight participants included one graduate student, three psychologists, one pediatrician, one psychiatrist, one painter, and one homemaker. All participants followed the same instructions to present themselves for admission to psychiatric hospitals all over the United States. They called the hospitals and made an appointment. Upon arriving at the hospitals, they complained of hearing voices in their head that said, empty, hollow, and thud. Other than that, they were instructed to act completely normal. All pseudo-patients but one was admitted with a diagnosis of schizophrenia. While in the hospitals, the participants acted completely normal and dropped their pretend symptoms. It was up to them to convince the hospital staff that they were normal and that they could be released. Other than that, they had no idea when they would be allowed to leave the hospital. The results of this experiment is quite amazing. The length of the patient's stay at the hospital ranged from 7 to 52 days with an average of 19 days. Not one of the pseudo patients was discovered by the hospital staff, and they were all released with their documented mental health status as schizophrenia in remission. An interesting part of this experiment is that although no doctors, nurses, or attendants successfully detected their participants, many of the real patients caught them. 35 out of 118 real patients voiced their suspicions. Many of them accused them of being reporters or researchers due to the note taking that the pseudo patients took, something the doctors interpreted as just another symptom of their illness. Contact among the staff and patients was minimal. One of the pseudo patients initiated in the study attempted to ask the doctors normal questions like, when will I be allowed ground privileges? or when am I likely to be discharged? The results were shocking. 71% of the doctors moves on without acknowledging the patient. 23% only makes eye contact. 2% would pause and quickly answer the question. And only 4% would stop and talk. Rosenhan's study shows that even trained professionals cannot distinguish the normal from abnormal in a hospital setting. This is because the psychiatric hospital setting influence the staff's judgment of an individual's behavior. When the patients were admitted to the hospital, the staff would no longer view them as individual people. This would create the attitude that if they are here, they must be crazy. Also, an important part of the experiment is what Rosanan calls the stickiness of the diagnostic label, meaning if a patient is labeled schizophrenic, that becomes a central characteristic of the person and the doctor will many times perceive many normal behaviors to just be part of their mental illness. There are two significant lessons learned from this experiment. The first is that the sane cannot be distinguished from the insane in a mental hospital setting. The second is the danger of diagnostic labels. Once a patient is labeled as having a certain psychological condition, this becomes a central characteristic of the patient, and all other personality characteristics are seen as stemming off this disorder. Worse than that, this can oftentimes become self-confirming, which means over time, if the patient is treated a certain way, 
they begin to behave that way. There are many critics saying that if this would happen at their hospital, it would not work. Rosenhan replied by challenging them, saying that in the next three months, there would be one or more pseudo patients trying to gain admittance to their hospital. At the end of the three months, 41 out of the 193 patients were considered with high confidence to be fake, but in reality, Rosenhan had sent none. Rosenhan's finding has affected modern psychology by growing greater care in diagnostic procedures and increasing awareness of the dangers of diagnostic labels. He has also created a decrease in patients confined to mental hospitals.